The sinkhole is a prominent location from within the forest. It is a site of awe and wonder. And today that wonder has inspired this very video that I'm producing right now. What I want to discuss is how the sinkhole formed on the peninsula in the first place and what impact it had on the area. Who possibly created it, who they were, and what it means for the grander story being told within the game of the forest. Let's go back to a time before the artifacts were located on the peninsula. A time before the dark era that infested the forest with evil spawns of twisted ancient machinery. Before the sinkhole existed. I believe that its existence and the arrival of the dark artifacts on the peninsula are directly connected. That the appearance of the large indent in the landmass that we have come to know as the sinkhole and these artifacts are intrinsically linked. I believe that something arrived on the peninsula in order to create this sinkhole, as well as introduce the ancient artifacts present on it. But what could it have possibly been? Well, the only artificial thing capable of creating such damage to only a specific area of the landmass of the forest would likely have to be of extraterrestrial origins. I propose that the creators of the artifacts were an alien race, foreign to our world, and upon their arrival here, their method of travel and its landing procedures generated massive scar tissue to the environment that we have come to know as the sinkhole. But before you say that the alien's idea is far-fetched, I want you to consider a few important facts about the characteristics of the forest story. So far, all we know about the original creators of the artifacts is that they were likely red in coloration, that they were somewhat humanoid in form and wielded considerable technological knowledge. I think the effects of the resurrection obelisk is one of the biggest supporting factors for this theory, that the creators could have been alien in origin. When human genetics is subjected to the obelisk, or the resurrection obelisk in particular, they can be resurrected, however, there is usually a significant hiccup in the process. This hiccup comes in the form of mutagenic effects suffered by the human host in question. They can vary from transforming the host into a number of different mutants we see patrolling the peninsula during the events of the game, and the reason that this would occur to a human undergoing and experiencing the effects of the resurrection obelisk is due to the incompatible DNA match between humanity and whatever alien race constructed the device. Because these artifacts were obviously created by their race for their race, then it should be calibrated for their race's specific genetic code. This would go to explain why humans subjected to its mysterious effects suffer great and horrific mutations. The machine is trying to resurrect or repair cellular damage to the host of some other organism and its specific genetic code and not that of humanities meaning that as it does so it reconstructs the hosts incorrectly and spits out a contorted and multi-limbed monstrosity the simple explanation here is that the technology is not designed for us it is not intended to be used by humanity or at least in the way that we are using it and instead, the mysterious unknown species of extraterrestrials that came to briefly call the peninsula home are the real uh, intended users of this technology. So then, if these beings did land their craft here on the peninsula causing the sinkhole, then where is it? They certainly did not uh, mind leaving behind the rest of their technologies and even a large base of operations. Well, for now, I have no answer to this question. And we have to address it largely with speculation. It's possible that the creators left quickly uh, for unknown reasons and simply discarded the items that they had left around the uh, peninsula and didn't have time or care to retrieve them. Maybe they left them here for humanity to one day learn from. Or maybe there is some unknown nefarious purpose for the artifact's continued existence here. Whatever the answer is, I don't think we will be finding out anytime soon. And beyond that, the creators may not be aliens at all. Maybe 
they are demonic. Some force from the underworld that caused the sinkhole as an entrance to their realm. For all we know, this is just as likely. My main point though is that we just know too little to make a definitive guess right now. So for now we will have to wait and see if Sons of the Forest will give us any better answers to the questions burning in all our minds. If you enjoyed this video then make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell notification if you never want to miss out on another upload from Project Archivist. If you want to support the channel you can do so by becoming a channel member through the join button on our channel homepage. You can also support Project Archivist on Patreon where you can join a tier and earn constant rewards for your support. You can find links for both of these down in the description. And with that, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.